that is, I kind of don't know what to say right now. That's, that's crazy. Logic Pro 11 is here, and one of the major new features is the stem splitter. It's a feature mostly intended for songwriting purposes, but as someone who's been mastering music professionally for the last decade, I'm here to investigate whether stem splitter is something that can be used in mastering. In particular, I'm going to compare it to the similar feature in premium third-party audio software, namely Isotope Ozone 11 Stem Focus and RX 11's Music Rebalance to see how well Logic Pro 11 stem splitter stacks up. Also, I have a couple more videos coming where I investigate some of the new features in Logic Pro 11. All right, let's jump right in. Here I have Logic Pro 11 open, very exciting. It doesn't look that different than Logic Pro 10 from what I can see. First one I'm gonna use is a mix by a band from Toronto, Canada called The Curse Within. They're a really great uh, melodic metalcore band. I had the pleasure to do the mastering for the EP, but this is one of the pre-masters, so it's just a mix, no mastering is done since we're looking at how the stem splitter can help with the mastering process. So let's take a quick listen. So as you can hear, it's a very typical metal mix. It's dense, it's punchy, and it's just kind of walls of guitars, right? I like using metal mixes like this to test uh, softwares like Stem Splitter because it's a lot more challenging for the software to split the stems when it's so dense. Let's dive in and use the feature. Let's go Processing Stem Splitter. All right, you can see it's going to attempt to split it into four groups. Wow, that's actually really fast. All right, supposedly this is a summing, this is sum of all the sp split stems and it should sound like the actual mix if I play them all together. Wow, that's... Holy. There's like barely a difference. That's actually extremely impressive because I expected the sum um, mix here to sound a little bit off because sometimes when the software split the stems, it becomes kind of phasey when you play them all back together. But this is actually really impressive. So let's take a listen to the individual uh, stems. Here's the drums. Okay, that's really awesome that it was able to get the reverse reverb vocals. And all the uh, vocal effects. That's really great. Let's take a listen to the chorus. The final word was spoken. And there is nothing left. Okay, that is really impressive that the fact that it was able to get the breath. Can you even hear that in the mix? You can't even hear it in the mix, but it was able to find, like, unearth that? Okay, that's pretty insane. Okay, let me take a listen here. That also sounds really awesome. I love that the stem sp splitter, stem splitter, oh my god, this is quite a mouthful. I love that the stem splitter is able to recognize 
uh, harsh vocals. It's not just you know, it's not just singing, right? This is actually very distorted. It can be very similar to distortion guitar. So I've seen some software that um, had trouble separating the harsh vocals cleanly. The chorus is usually the busiest. Yeah, that part, I'm not so sure that it did a great job, but I can't really blame it. So if we listen to the original mix, it's an incredibly dense section here. It's not magic, right? Like it's, there's only so much you can do when there's it's so dense, but it did a really great job separating the vocals out at the very least. So Ozone 11, if you didn't know, I actually did a video on it. If you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description and I'll also put it um, here somewhere in the corner so that you can check it out. Ozone 11 basically has a stem focus mode and it's similar to stem splitter, but it's more uh, intended for mastering purposes. You can focus on the vocals or the drums or the bass elements when you're doing any EQ moves. Like for example, if I have a compressor here and then if I selected the bass here, then the compression will be only done for the bass elements. It's a very helpful feature for, for mastering. Let's do this one to, for vocals. So I will put it for the vocal. So I'm going to use a compressor here, but I'm not, but it's not gonna be doing any compression and I'll solo the band so that I can hear only the vocals. <laughs> Okay, so this will be the vocals. As you can see, Ozone 11 stem focus only has three elements. There's no way for you to separate uh, the guitars and like strings and st stuff like that. I'm going to put these three into a summing track. So now I'm going to play this summing track for Ozone 11. Obviously, it's missing the guitars. So with Ozone 11 stem focus, you cannot actually recreate the original mix with all the stems. So let's compare the vocals here. Right off the bat, I think we can all agree that Logic Pro 11 did a much better job at separating the vocals from the mix compared to Ozone 11 stem focus. The final word was spoken. Yeah. That's insane. Like it's insane how much better Logic Pro 11's stem splitter is. Like, what? Like I really hope I'm not doing something wrong here because that would be very embarrassing. Okay, let's take a listen to the drums. Yeah, there's no competition here. The Logic Pro absolutely nails it here. I mean, we can take a listen to the bass, um, but I, I think it's the same, it's gonna be a similar story. It's crazy that Logic Pro is able to actually get the crank of the bass. I don't even know how that works because you don't really hear that in the mix. In the mix, you can, I, I don't know, I can barely hear it, but like, is there some kind of like reconstruction thing going on uh, with the stem splitter in Logic Pro 11? I have no idea. So 
So now let's move on to RX 11. It was just released recently by Isotope as well, and it has an improved music rebalance module. Here's the same track, and I'm going to apply the music rebalance module. Very conveniently, there's a stem split module. So I'm going to use that. So right away is much slower than Logic Pro 11 splitting uh, uh, the stems. It was almost instant for Logic Pro 11, but here is taking three minutes. Okay, it's finally done. That took a while. Let's take a listen. Okay, so far it's already way better than Ozone 11 stem focus. The was and there is In this one, you can hear that RX11 is able to isolate that breath sound, just like in Logic. The was it almost sounds similar. And let's go back to logic. Very similar. Almost sound like identical. So let's take a listen to the bass. It feels like this is similar to stem focus where I can mostly hear just the low end, but not the clank of the bass. So if we go back. You can hear a lot more of the clank. In here, you're just mostly hearing the bass sound. And let's take a listen to the drums. Okay, let's compare that to Logic. It's quite good. I think it's almost equally good. Uh, it's just a little bit, there's some more noise in there. It's not as clean. I feel like Logic did a much better job at isolating the cymbals and the cymbals sound, they sound very thin, but at, at the very least they sound clean uh, to me. Finally, take a let's take a listen to other instruments. Pretty good so far. Let's take a listen to Logic. And the chorus here. I think Logic is still better here because I feel like the vocals are bleeding into the guitars here a lot more. It almost sounds like they're coming in and out in the side channels, whereas in the Logic, There's still a little bit of the bleed from vocals, but it's a lot more subtle and they don't jump out as much. Suffice to say that I'm incredibly impressed by the new stem splitter in Logic Pro 11. It's crazy that as a built-in tool in Logic, which is now available for free for existing Logic Pro users on Apple Silicon, it can rival and in my opinion, surpass 
both Ozone 11's stem focus and RX 11's music rebalance when it comes to isolating the different elements in the mix. The fact that the sum of the split stems sounds basically the same to the original mix means that this feature can really come in handy when you need to dive a little bit deeper during mastering. I've always used Reaper for mastering, but now maybe it's time to switch to Logic for that. That's it for the video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe for more music production, tech, and content creation videos. Stay creative, and I will see you next time.